Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. Um, it's about something that is actually a very old concept by me, but um, yeah, people have been requesting me to redo it to make it work in a silent way in the latest versions. So what I have here is my little base. Got my little kitty cat. Got a furnace. Got a chest, workbench, cake. There's nothing too uh, too valuable in here. And I guess what I should do is I should quickly. Uh, get myself some food so <coughs> let's do that meanwhile just uh, checking the seed um, it's quite nice I think I'll add it in the description of the video I found this little uh, natural mountain cave which I turned into my house like I said nothing too fancy got a little emergency escape there um, but yeah I got our beef and stuff and now the thing is, like I said, there's nothing too valuable here, and it seems like there isn't anything valuable here. But there actually is, and there's one way to get to it, which is a very old concept by me. And that's by burning a sapling, because that opens a secret door. So let's... There we go. So, burned one sapling, and here is my container with my more valuable stuff. Got a kick-ass sword, uh, some ender pearl. I mean, it's nothing, still nothing incredibly fancy, but uh, yeah, it's quite a nice concept. And the way to close it is to get another sapling and burn it, and the whole thing closes again. And seeing as there's no reason to burn a sapling um, or at least one sapling because there's no item in the game that can be used in a furnace that transforms in five seconds which is the time uh, a, furnace, uh, a sapling burns so if you're doing this on a multiplayer server there's no one is going to be able to activate and open the door by accident um, basically it's a um, silent butt switch behind the the furnace oh, you know what actually let's just go to the design and then you can see it in action in the open instead of just talking about it here so here we are at the circuit itself it consists of a couple of uh, familiar circuits we have the silent block update detector here which I featured in uh, Minecraft sharing is caring um, it's a bit extended, that's to make it work in this orientation, else the torch would burn out, but like this it works. Then we have uh, the T flip flop from Magia Paul, uh, that Magia Paul sent me for Sharing is Caring Part 2. And the same T flip flop again, there's a double T flip flop in this. And then there's some timing circuits. And basically what happens as soon as you uh, put in a sapling, it's going to send a pulse and it's going to send it into two timed circuits. One is very quick, is 3 ticks, and the other one is 53 ticks. So 50, uh, or yeah, f five, five seconds long, basically. And seeing as saplings only burn for five seconds, that means that once uh, this signal arrives at the end, the furnace will turn off which will send another pulse uh, to this AND gate a bit convoluted AND gate and so when both of these torches are then turned off at the same time because there is a signal going in them at the same time this will send a pulse to this T flip flop which will in turn turn on the white circuit so let's just fire it so there's now a signal traveling in the long delay circuit and then at the same time, when it turns off, it sends another signal which causes the T flip flop to activate. And if I were to do it again, just stand here. You see both tor torches turn off at the same time, activates the T flip flop. Now, you might be wondering why the hell is there another T flip flop? Um, well, in my previous design, there was the possibility that the moment um, th the moment you uh, burning something normal um, gets turned off it sends a pulse and then when it's done it would send a pulse again which would obviously not be in time with the 50 tick circuit or the 53 tick circuit but 
wow that's gonna take forever <laughs> but um, you could under some circumstances um, if you were to time it correctly send in a pulse I mean that pulse was perfectly timed with the other one um, but this other T flip-flop caused um, yeah basically it's triple AND gate in a sense you see the dust on top of that that dust gets activated by the torch up here and whenever um, yeah whenever I fire uh, a signal in here it's gonna toggle the top the top gate so like now even if another signal comes in it cannot activate the AND gate seeing as this torch on top of it uh, is yeah, giving power to the torch below so the torch can never turn on so it's sort of a safety mechanism for people accidentally um, activating your your secret your secret activation mechanism um, but yeah this is uh, what it is like and I guess we should continue in the how to build it and how to make it work and once you're done you will definitely have one of the most uh, inconspicuous hidden door mechanisms uh, out there at the moment so let's move on okay starting off you have to choose your surface and figure out where you're going to place the furnace uh, the circuit is actually a bit lower than the floor level so you have to keep that in mind but uh, once you place your furnace behind it place some glowstone and what you will get is the following circuit which is an extended circuit of the silent block update detector and the reason I extended it is because this um, this version works in any orientation it's not uh, it's not sensitive to anything else so that's the first step and now whenever this block gets an update could be the, the furnace being done or the furnace starting it's going to send a little pulse which is the base of the detection okay next up we have the timing circuit first we have to extend move this circuit around the timing circuit this block here to prevent the redstone signal from traveling down now once we've done that we need a 3 tick delay, that's the short signal because basically whenever uh, you have a block update it splits the signal in two one is going into the short delay and the other one is going into the long delay and the yellow blocks is going to be my AND gate my convoluted AND gate now, now here we're going to get <laughs> some very long delays uh, six blocks into that direction then this direction everything is on full delay then around the corner fill up all the missing gaps with redstone so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 so let's say uh, 12 which is roughly 5 seconds this goes into the other part of the AND gate and we invert this and invert it here as well because that's what an AND gate is good for and we have the magenta circuit which is going to be the output of the delay circuit and the way to get the signal from this one to there is just to place a block on top of it and a block like that and if all has been done correctly and I were to put a sapling in here now as you can see it's running into the long delay now and then when it activates again it turns off the dust there briefly sending it power but as you can see it goes in again and that's why we have the um, the backup system because when the second time the long delay reaches this part of the end gate and a person then starts burning something new in the furnace sending it into the short delay you could accidentally um, turn on or activate the, the door mechanism but we'll, we will get to that um, later on now that that is done we move on to Magia Paul's uh, T flip-flop design 
First we have to extend this pulse a bit because it's too short to activate the, his T flip flop. Um, but let's build it. I mean it's something we've done already but it has to be done. Just have to make sure that I do it correctly. Should be okay. There we go. So this is the T flip flop and let's give it a little test run. So th like the, the basics of the door mechanism is already done. As you can see it flips state and the second pulse doesn't do anything. You can draw the output from here. Um, I don't know, I in my circuit I uh, yeah, I try try and make stuff compact as possible. So I did like this, and the torch doesn't activate the the glowstone on top of that. As you can see, it doesn't do it. One of the many great properties of glowstone. Now, this is the base of the design, and this is where I previously stopped in my earlier design, but that left the room open for people to accidentally open the door which we don't want which brings us to the next step which is adding the safety mechanism so what we do is like halfway through our um, long delay circuit we're gonna get some power signal and we're gonna send that into again Magia Pulse T flip flop design but now extend it a bit Sure, you place a block there, else it's gonna cross connect again, which we don't want. And this is the yeah the torch that's gonna prevent stuff, bad stuff from happening. Basically, it's what we already did before, but now it's just flipped. mirrored I mean there we go now as you can see it's now activated but as soon as the signal goes into the long delay before it reaches the end it's gonna turn off and toggle the T flip-flop uh, allowing a signal to come through. So we can actually just take a look at that. So the signal is now traveling, it's going into the long delay. It turns off this torch, allowing it to send the pulse. And then when the long delay goes back into it, it turns the torch back on. So any crazy, crazy sort of activations that you can do with the furnace, uh, that meaning that once it's done, five seconds later you activate it again, causing the five second delay is not gonna uh, toggle this T flip-flop opening the door. So there we have it. Um, I will add the MC schematic in the description of the video. I hope that uh, this tutorial was sufficient enough to be able to build it. Um, it's a lot of repeaters and stuff. Uh, you could make it smaller, but it won't be silence, which was basically the main deal when uh, when I decided to redo this design. Thanks a lot for the people that have been sharing designs. I mean, this wouldn't have been so compact without this silent block update detector. And also thanks again to Magia Paul for sharing his nice T flip flop design that doesn't use any pistons. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, like always, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And feel free to give this video a like if this helps you out in any way or form. And I'll see you guys uh, later. Bye-bye.